Hello and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany and it's time for another empties video. So I don't have a whole lot of products this month and I think a handful of these products you've seen before in other empties videos. They're just items that I continually repurchase and they may be in a different scent or a different color, but they're products that I always have in my makeup skincare routine. The very first thing we'll start off with is this tangerine, raspberry tangerine, excuse me, the raspberry tangerine hand soap from Bath and Body Works. I just really enjoy it. It's fruity, it's fresh, and I don't know, it just, I like it. It's very spring into summer and I enjoy this. Another thing that I am always um, keeping in the cabinet is my native deodorant. I finished the scent Blackberry and Plum, and normally I feel like this is more of a cozy, warm, fruity fragrance for fall, but um, I don't know, I just I really wanted to use this up this spring, so this was the closest that I had to a spring scent, and I really enjoy this. Uh, this is seasonal. I don't know if it's currently on their fragrance list, but it has come back every fall the last two years, so I plan on repurchasing this fragrance, I think. I really like this. Next is a hairspray. <clears throat> oh, that was loud. I'm sorry. Up next, we have this Schwarzkopf Got To Be Volumaniac. Um, I think that this hairspray I purchased as part of an influencer campaign. You know, they send you on um, these virtual box things where you're supposed to go purchase the product and test it yourself and I needed a new hairspray at the time anyway so I was like oh, okay sometimes they offer cash back on them and sometimes they don't I can't remember if they did for this or not but anyway at the time I needed a new hairspray it's okay I don't go through this often and I'm pretty sure that this can is like two years old so again it's not a product that I go through often um but this one's done it was okay and um, I might consider repurchasing it again, though it's, I honestly can't remember if it was, I don't know. It was okay. I have more hairspray up in my, up in my cabinet, but eh, I'm not, I'm not committed to it. Next, um, I have a replacement for my Tinkle razors. If you watched my, um, my last haul video, you saw that I went ahead and repurchased from Amazon a 12 pack of, of these. I go through about one a month. I think they're really good for dermaplaning and for taking care of some, you know, un unwanted facial hair and for shaping around the brows, which I need to do again real soon. But these are good razors. I enjoy them. I just like to not, you know, it's time to, time to let it go. Up next, another replacement that I had that was also in that haul video is my Essie Gel Couture Top Coat. Um, I'm not wearing it today. I am wearing a gel manicure, but I really like this one for prolonging my nail polish manicures. I rotate now between gel and polish, and this one really helps my manicures, my polish last. Um, usually about 10 days before I notice any real wear and tear and chipping. Um, and I really enjoy this. This is like my third or fourth bottle of it, or rather the, um, the replacement is my third or fourth bottle. I can't remember. I've lost track. I know I've purchased quite a few and I really enjoy this top coat. Next, another product that I have used before is this Origins Checks and Balances Foaming Face Wash, or Frothy Face Wash, excuse me. And it's okay. Again, this is another sample size. I have one more, uh, a little bit smaller. I think it's half this size. I have another sample size left. Um, this one's good. Uh, it doesn't take a whole lot of product to really um, foam up and give a good cleanse. Uh, it smells very herbally and um, green and kind of minty. And um, I like it, but I've gone ahead and repurchased a few more budget-friendly uh, cleansing options. And if I really miss this, I might repurchase this next time I'm stocking up on supplies or replacing things or there's a good sale. But um, yeah, this is just okay. Just okay. But I would consider repurchasing it. Another thing that I'm really on the fence right now about purchasing is 
this. This is the Dermalogica. Let me see if I can even get it to focus on this tiny bottle. This is the Dermalogica. Oh my goodness, I've already forgotten the name. Age Bright Clearing Serum. And this tiny little 0 0.05, point, no 0 0.1, excuse me, three milliliter bottle, glass bottle, last me, I think I used this for two solid months. I normally break out just a little bit around my chin and a little bit on my cheeks. And I really feel like using this over the last two months really helped clear some of this hormonal stuff up, but it is really pricey. So again, I'll probably wait for a sale. I'm going to give my skin, uh, I think about two months to see if, if it really, you know, starts to come back. If my skin is missing this, I will probably go ahead and buy this to put back into my routine because I really, it was very hydrating. It is not stripping. Um, I really feel like it, it made a little bit of a difference and, um, yeah, I like this. I would definitely repurchase this and I'm going to keep that on my wish list. Another thing that I really enjoy, but I'm not sure if I'm going to repurchase this. Um, these are the facial radiance pads from First Aid Beauty. These are great. I really enjoy these. However, I really do want to try the Nip and Fab and I also really, really, really love the Neogen wine gauze pads. Those are found on Amazon. They're a little bit expensive, but um, I don't know. I like these a lot still too. I only use one a day in my evening skincare routine. They're a nice exfoliating pad. I really feel like it gets in there and um, without being too harsh. And yeah, these are good. I purchased this with a um, one of those gift sets. You get the holidays that are, and all the time, they usually have some sort of gift set with a moisturizer, and a cleanser and a serum or a lip balm or something. I buy those in the multi-pack because it saves a little bit of money and I get those other wonderful first aid beauty products. But um, yeah, I would definitely consider repurchasing these. I do want to try the Nip and Fab since I think they're like half the price of these, but I'll have to go and um, double check myself there. So yeah, these are good. I enjoy those. On the other side uh, is something that I didn't really enjoy too much. I mean, Okay, so it's the Laneige Water Sleeping Mask. This was the tiny sample that the half ounce that I'd gotten in the Sephora birthday gift this year. And I think this is the last product of that trio. But I mean, it was okay. Um, I didn't really notice a whole ton of hydration difference um, when I used this. I only used it, you know, maybe once or twice a week or when I felt that I really needed a little bit of extra help um, in the moisture area. But um, it was just okay, and I will probably put this away and forget about it. I don't know. Something that I'm not sure if I'll forget about or not is this Bliss Bright Idea Vitamin C Plus Pro Collagen Moisturizer, Brighten and Firm Moisturizer. I received this product from a friend of mine who gets beauty boxes and influencer and didn't care for this. So I said, yeah, sure, I'll take it. And um, I used the whole thing and not sure why I'm doing that because you can't, you literally can't see anything, but I used the whole thing up and um, well, there's a little bit left on the lid. It's a very creamy moisturizer and well, maybe you can't, whatever, I tried. Anyway, it's a very creamy moisturizer and I felt like when I would put it on, it's very thick and it took a few minutes, but it would settle in the skin very nicely. This is good if you're one of those people who likes to have a more, you know, heavier um, product on over top of your moisturizer. And this sank into the skin beautifully, which is great for a morning moisturize too but at night and occasionally I would put it on and it would sink into my skin and I would feel like my skin needed more moisture. So I would have to go in with a sleeping mask or a spritz of some spray or an oil to go on top of it to just kind of really help it, um, help my skin be extra hydrated. So it's not a, not a great for hydration type of moisturizer, 
but I mean, it settled into the skin very nicely once it was all spread out and tapped in. It kind of melted in and I kind of liked this. Um, and y'all know that I don't care for dipping my fingers into pots. So, um, you know, I, again, do have some little spatulas that I scoop product out with, but, um, I kind of liked this. So I'm going to put this on my loves list and keep this on the back burner in my mind to just kind of, um, play around with repurchasing this. I'm going to put this in my maybe I'll repurchase pile. Another product that like I don't know if I'd repurchase is the uh, Body Prescriptions Winterberry Cleansing Facial Wipes. I only use facial wipes for removing swatches and I ended up having to go through a little bit more recently. I don't use them a whole lot but I did just do a matte liquid lipstick declutter which I will link up there for you and um, I did use a lot more than usual this last month. They're just okay, lightly fragranced but again since they are for removing swatches for my hand and arm I I don't know. Eh, they do a good job removing stuff on your hand and your arm. I can't speak to how it works on the face but yeah I've got three more packages left in my drawer anyway because I got them in a multi-pack from Marshalls. Ross, not TJ Maxx, one of the other two. I can't remember which. Doesn't matter. Moving on. The next product is this sample of the Cover Effects High Performance Setting Spray. This is just a teeny tiny bottle. And yes, there is still some product left in the bottom, but the, um, the uh, tube doesn't quite reach that far. So I used up all I could and I couldn't get the, I couldn't, Okay, so well before today, I couldn't get this off of here. So either I hulked out or humidity or something. Anyway, I'm still considering this done. Um, it was okay. I guess while I have that off of there. Okay, now it's not coming off again. There we go. It doesn't have a fragrance to it. It's just a... It's just a... Um, just kind of a setting spray. It doesn't smell too much like alcohol. It doesn't smell, um, it doesn't smell like anything, maybe a little herbally, if anything, but very, very lightly. I did like this as a mattifying, um, spray. I'm not sure if this one is mattifying or not, but it's just a spray fixer, high performance setting spray, 24 hour wear. I didn't wear anything for 24 hours with this, but it was nice. Um, I would consider repurchasing it again, but I feel like there are definitely more budget-friendly alternatives. Um, however, if you are someone who doesn't care for fragrance in your skincare, you might like this a little bit more. I know that fragrance can be triggering um, for migraines and, you know, other conditions. So you might like this, um, but definitely get you a little spritz and store to see if this would bother you. But um, yeah. It was okay, but I have a ton of other setting sprays and I will probably forget about that one as well until I'm ready to repurchase the next one. So, sorry. The next thing I have for you, I may as well just go ahead and do this one now, is this entire baggie is half full of my, my liquid lipsticks. Like I said before, I did do an entire declutter of these liquid lipsticks and matte liquid lipsticks. Most of these are like five years old at least, um, so they had to go. But if you want to watch my declutter, you can watch it up there after this video, of course. And um, yeah, see what I got rid of and let go. I got rid of most, like two thirds of my lip, uh, liquid lipstick collection and um, that's why I went through this pack so fast this last time. So. I think I counted 22 or 23. Again, I can't remember how many I got rid of in that video, but yeah, it's a lot of lipsticks this month. So while everything else is a little bit on the eh side, um, yeah, that's that was one win that I am pretty darn proud of. And the last product that I finally used up is my ColourPop No Filter Concealer. All right, let me see if I can focus. My co Come on my ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Fair 06. And take a look at this. So I took the stopper out to try to get every last bit out of it. And on the very last final use, you can already kind of see, I broke the doe foot. 
So every little bit in there is gone. It's all used up and um, got every last little bit out of here. It felt like it took a while, but we did it. Um, this concealer is very nice. It, I think at the time it was like $6, so comparable to the e.l.f. Camo Concealer, which is on my face today. Um, but it's a very thin formula, or it used to be. I haven't purchased a tube in so long, but this particular one uh, is a very thin, lightweight formula, and I really appreciated that. It covered really well. It blended out nicely. Um, it's not thick and heavy and creamy, um, which I also kind of liked uh, because it was less fuss. I just kind of put it on, blended it out, and went about my business. So I really liked this. I think that it's a great, uh, a great affordable concealer option. Um, as far as the affordable concealers go, uh, this one is has a great coverage and is lightweight as compared to the e.l.f. Camo Concealer, which is um, thicker and, I mean, I think I'd use, maybe use less product uh, with the e.l.f., but um, as far as ease of blending out goes, this has been really nice. So I would definitely consider repurchasing that product. And... That is all for me today. I hope you enjoyed this little mini kind of review. Um, as always, look forward to my next one for the end of July. Um, this one was kind of small because, again, I used up mostly sample size products. Um, I did work my way through a couple of full sizes. And right now I'm currently focusing on a bunch of full size products. So hopefully I'll have some more exciting things to bring to you next garbage day. So until that time, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed all of this. And don't forget to subscribe if you are not subscribed already. Thank you so much for spending some of your valuable time with me today. I truly, truly appreciate you being here with me. And as always, until next time, take care.